me here, you can see the 173 metre long Paringa Bridge. It was completed in 1927 and until 1982 it uh, also carried the Barmera railway line across the River Murray to Renmark. It's one of only four suspension bridges along the River Murray and was a significant engineering feat for its time as it allows for a lifting span which uh, lifts um, around 30 feet uh, or 9.1 metres into the air allowing very important uh, houseboat and riverboat trade to continue under the bridge. If you're uh, heading across the uh, Paringa Bridge, you could be forgiven for thinking that the uh, road lanes on either side of the bridge were an afterthought, and you'd be right. It was originally built to carry the railway only, um, and the uh, road lanes were added afterwards. You'll also see uh, later in the video almost two miles of embankment and bridges carrying the rest of the railway across the uh, Paringa paddocks, um, which ensures uh, road and rail communication with Adelaide in all but the very worst of floods. The uh, last train crossed the bridge in 1982 and the line was formally closed in 1984. Uh, the tracks were removed in 1986 and the path was converted to a shared use walking and cycle track. The bridge was heritage listed in 1989. Um, so we're gonna go for a bit of a walk across the bridge and uh, show you what it looks like today. So as I said before, the bridge is 173 metres long. It consists of five fixed spans and one movable span. They're all on concrete piers and abutments and uh, each of them being supported by a nest of concrete piles, which are certainly doing their job right now. You can see the old uh, sleepers uh, still here and the uh, walking trail just laid across it. We're about to get across to the uh, lifting section of the bridge. This vertical lift span is uh, 24 metres long. It can rise up to 9.1 metres in one and a half minutes. It still opens at uh, 9.30 a.m. and 2.30 p.m. daily. Although, of course, during these floods, uh, this is not happening as there is no river traffic at all. So we are going to go for a quick walk into the township of Paringa and have a look at some of the old permanent way that still runs through the town quite clearly. Um, I'm not sure where the uh, station was at um, Paringa. Um, Hairy Legs Tracks, which is one of my references on Google Earth for station location, says that it was further out. Um, uh, Faringa, not close to the river here. Some of the old images I've got from the State Library um, uh, aren't really good at telling me where um, these, uh, the old station was, but we will do our best to see if we can track anything down. Uh, here you can see where the railway line swung out from the um, middle of the road uh, on the railway bridge here and um, began to head towards Faringa. Well, this is interesting. I have found the rails across uh, Hughes Road, um, heading um, back into Paringa. I hadn't expected to find any rails here. There's basically nothing remaining, but obviously this road hasn't been resurfaced since 1986. Uh, and the rails still remain here. I'm unsure why it's a, a double rail. 
uh, maybe someone could help me out. Um, and what we're looking at ahead of us here is apparently the site of the um, old Paringa Railway Station. Let's see, let's head into the bushes here and um, see if we can see anything. Probably a bit long grass, I'm not really keen on um, finding a um, snake, but you can see um, the, um, the land is still set aside for the uh, railway. As you cross the Sturt Highway from the Paringa paddocks into Renmark, there's virtually nothing left of the old railway station precinct, once very busy. Well that's it folks, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time.